Okay, just wanted to uh, walk you through a couple team tactics, some shape. It's important that uh, the kids learn where to be on the field, what positions they need to uh, be in, and, and how to hold their shape. A lot of times we have trouble with the teams bunching up, and you'll, you'll see this as the games uh, start on Saturdays. Uh, you'll see them kind of going to one side, everybody going up on the offensive third of the field, uh, basically just bunching up. So we're going to kind of give you a sense of, of a formation, kind of a starting lineup for a seven-a-side game and kind of how to, to coach it and how to try to teach the kids to, to keep their form and keep their shape. Okay, so we'll start out just kind of a, a kickoff mode. It's at the beginning of the game, everybody pretty much knows what position they're in, and usually that's probably the best time that you can, you can see shape. We have a formation of 2-3-1. Of have our goalie here, we have our two defenders here, we have our three midfielders, and we have our forwards. So this is pretty good shape right now, this is the ball here, we're going in this direction towards this goal, and you can see there's pretty good shape uh, from the start of the game, and, and this is good to start with. What happens is after the game begins, we start to have some problems. Um, but we need to keep the kids uh, kind of on the same plane, so as the ball moves into the offensive third, everybody kind of shifts up as a unit as well as when it goes on defense, everybody kind of shifts back as a unit. As you can see in this next, uh, this next one here, we're now on the offensive third of the field. The team has done a pretty good job keeping their shape. As you can see, the forwards up here with the ball, we have the three midfielders here, and we have the defenders going up to the halfway line. Um, one of the problems we, we often have is defenders will get a little over-anxious and they'll move into the offensive third, which creates some holes and also causes uh, teams to bunch up and, and it makes it more difficult to play. So we have to really encourage them to keep their shape okay, in a position like this. Now in this third uh, example here, I've kind of given a, an example of what happens when everyone starts bunching up. We still have our goalie in place obviously, but you can see the forwards here. The, the midfielder on this side has moved all the way to this side of the field. We have another, so other two midfielders here. Uh, to the vendors here, everyone's kind of shifted to the same side of the field, which you'll see, so you have to remind them to keep their shape. So how do we adjust that? We make sure that the midfielder stays over maybe towards the middle. doesn't have to stay all the way over here, okay? He can come over towards the middle, but we won't want him to be, uh, you know, overwhelming one side. Uh, this midfielder maybe comes more in a supporting role here. This defender kind of drops off towards the middle here. This defender drops off here at a little bit better shape. It's still a little bit bunched. We're, we're assuming the ball's maybe in this corner, but you can see it's a lot different than it, the way it started. So this kind of gives you a, a basic uh, foundation for, for how to run a uh, formation on seven aside and the important points of trying to keep them uh, spreading out and kind of on the same plane and, and players not kind of going too far up if they're a defender, as well as forwards. We don't want forwards coming all the way back into this part of the field if they're afford. We want them to kind of keep, uh, keep their shape. So hopefully this will help you a little bit, and uh, good luck.